Hello everybody, video here for you today as it storms outside. This is the no cap recap of Lost U-Boats of World War II Season 1 Episode 3 called The Nazi's Secret Weapon. Aired March 12th, 2024. If you missed any of my recaps of the Curse of Oak Island and Companion Show episodes, there's a link to the playlist in the upper right. Let's get into it. 1981, Daryl Miklos and his father came into possession of classified blueprints of modified Nazi U-boats with the torpedoes removed, allegedly altered, in order to move out of Germany some of the billions of gold, works of art, and priceless artifacts looted by Hitler during World War II. Daryl's father, Roger, found millions of dollars worth of coins and other artifacts in the ocean, Search for the U-boats until the day he died. Daryl has since been given this chart with seven possible U-boat locations near the Dominican Republic drawn by a U.S. Navy pilot in 1948. In the previous week's episode, the weather was too rough to dive one of those targets, so Daryl and Steve followed up on recently gathered intel about a pier said to be used for refueling Nazi U-boats. They found a beer bottle from a brewery in Germany and these plate pieces with an eagle. Veteran diver Bill Palmer, experienced in Nazi artifacts, told him them it was the insignia of the Nazi Luftwaffe, or Air Force. They decided to return to the collapsed pier to look for more artifacts. Using a metal detector, they find a bunch of nails, presumably used to build a pier. But eventually, Daryl pulls something out of a tangle of grass. He doesn't know what it is and opts to take it to the boat to be examined. They have some of the nails and pins, but what really stands out is this artifact, which they believe to be pewter. Daryl puts it in vinegar and then begins brushing it. Then his hands start shaking. He hands it to Garth. Then we see why he's so excited. It has the same Nazi symbol that Bill Palmer showed them on a plate last week via video conferencing. Garth says it's a kitchen knife. That same Bill Palmer, who has found over 100 U-boat related items, visits Monte Cristi to consult with Garth. He points out to Garth that the M underneath indicates Marine, which would be the Kriegsmarine, or War Navy. Adolf Hitler changed it to that from the Reich Marine, or Imperial Navy. Bill also shows him the manufacturer's mark. I flipped the image from the show because it was harder to read that way. It says C and G L. And the 42, he thinks, is the year 1942. That year, the Nazis sent six U-boats to patrol the coast of North America and destroy merchant ships headed to England. The offensive was called Operation Drumbeat. They sunk 609 ships in nine months, which accounted for 25% of all ships sunk by submarines in World War II. England was five days from running out of oil as it was, so if the commander of that mission had gotten all 15 subs he wanted from Hitler, it's very possible England would have surrendered that year. Bill tells Garth that he thinks they are onto something and to keep looking. There's some good weather finally, and Daryl wants to return to their main objective of diving on the targets from the chart drawn by the Navy pilot. So far, they did on Target 2 and found this sunken merchant ship with catastrophic damage, but they couldn't tell if it was sunk by a U-boat. Daryl says that eliminates Target 2. They also dove on Target 4 and found this revolver that is likely German due to having a steel case bullet inside it. They had to cut that dive short due to weather, so they decide to return to Target 4 before diving on the 5 remaining. Unfortunately, due to the recent rain and wind, the bottom is all stirred up and visibility is extremely poor. Daryl and Steve could be swimming right by it and never see it. 
The next morning, Daryl seeks out local fishermen in Monte Cristi and asks for any tips on wreck areas. Several say they have gotten hung up in one area in particular. Daryl says wrecks turn into natural reefs over time and fish live in them. In 1991, fishermen reported concentrated fish activity 60 miles off the coast of New Jersey. Captain Bill Nagel took scuba divers to the spot and they found U-69, a U-boat that was erroneously recorded as having sunk in 1945, 6,000 miles away off the coast of Gibraltar. The area the Monte Cristi fishermen spoke of matches up with Target 3 on the Navy pilot's chart, so they decide to dive there next. They find this and immediately take it to Garth on the boat. He says it has batteries in it and says Siemens, which is a German company that makes batteries and communication devices. It is very fragile, so he takes it out of the wind to examine it further while Daryl and Steve get back in the water. They soon see this very big stud link chain. They say it's 25 feet long and they follow it. The chain leads to this towing connector. The History Channel editors add this graphic to show what it would have looked like. And Steve explains how it would have a rod going through these attached to the chain. As good of a find as it is, the connector isn't big enough to account for such a huge magnetometer reading, so they aren't done with Target 3. Garth meets with diver and historian Rich Loud, who looks at the footage of the towing connector and says it was for a trailer that attached to a U-boat for extra storage capacity. Rich also told us what Daryl told us in episode 1, that there is a rumor that Germans were trying to smuggle assets out of Germany once they accepted that the war was lost. Rich adds the tidbit that a French spy attended one of the meetings about securing Germany's post-war future, August 10, 1944. Germany surrendered May 7, 1945, a week after the death of Adolf Hitler. He further adds that in December 1944, the FBI arrested two Nazi spies that confessed to being part of a plot to launch missiles from the V-2 equipped subs at New York City. The U.S. Navy responded to the threat by launching a 44-ship fleet in Operation Teardrop to patrol the coast and they end up destroying five Nazi subs, none of which had V-2 missiles. At the end of the episode, the team talks about U-boats towing trailers possibly stopping to refuel in Monte Cristi on the way to Nazi safe haven, Argentina. Next time on an all new The Lost U-Boats of World War II, Season 1, Episode 4, mistakenly listed as Episode 3 here, I am available for proofreading and such, History Channel, uh, called Treasure Island. With weather they're preventing Daryl Miklos and the team from diving from the boat, they attempt a risky strategy. Garth makes a solo journey to explore a deserted island where he discovers a mysterious cross. I'll continue recapping Season 1 of The Lost U-Boats of World War II as well as Season 11 of The Curse of Oak Island late Tuesday nights with retro Oak Island recaps of Season 6 through 8 as I have time. Seasons 1 through 5, 9, 10 in the air. Season 11 episodes are already done and are in the Oak Island playlist in the upper right. Once again, I'm Coach Steve Money. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.